Real lemon. Alright, so far all I've made it through is like half of produce. And it's far, far better than SNR. Mixed greens, all kinds of stuff. Oh, Salama. Strawberries. Driscoll strawberries, crazy. All right, local strawberries, 123. It's uh, $4.99 for, per kilo. And the, doesn't say how much per kilo the uh, Driscoll's are. Actually, so lettuce, good looking lettuce too. Oh, cheap, huh? Lettuce, they have strawberries, but expensive. Carrots, bok choy. This is much better than SNR, I think. Yeah, get it. Yeah, sure. You see celery yet? Oh, there's celery right there. Not much. It's pretty small. It's pretty pathetic looking celery. But then again, almost all the celery we find here in the Philippines is pretty pathetic. Hello. Garlic, ginger, carrots, eggplant, pumpkin, or something. No, it's not a pumpkin, but it's a squash. Corn, beautiful corn, though. Wow. But lemons. The more the typical breads. How you doing? I mean, this is really more like a great grocery store. What kind of chilies they have. Okra. Giant carrots.
cabbage, more corn, broccoli, peppers. Oh, excuse me. Potatoes. Eggs, more ginger, garlic, white onions. So white onions, 199 per kilo. One ninety nine per kilo, and then it tells you the weight, so it doesn't oh, really. There's the price right there. Oh. One one five. This one. One one six. Yeah. Red onions. Rotisserie chicken. Louisiana pepper 288, roasted chicken original 276. I think that's cheaper than Chooks to go. Yeah. And I really don't like Chooks that much. Oh, quick movie, movie, saltfish. Keep going, keep going. What do we have here? Tilapia bangus. Bangus? Bangus? Close enough, maybe? <laughs> Is it good? Is it a white meat? White fish? Holy crap, what is this? Spalda. Spalda. Saltfish? Sorry, swordfish. Swordfish? Yes. Oh. Wow. Oh. These are beautiful. This is like a... White meat. almost. Looks almost like... La Huh? La Bajita. La Bajita. Yes. Snapper? La Bajita. Red snapper. Yeah, in America we call that red snapper. Look at this beautiful display. This is a great store. This looks like a carp almost. And then, uh, uh, not, it's a yellowfin? Yeah. Small crawfish, small lobster. Blue marlin. Blue marlin. Gorgeous. Fish. No Where do you, mean. how often do you get fresh fish here? Uh, from Palawan. From Palawan? Yes. Wow. We are in the supplier here. That's incredible. This one is Lapu Lapu. Uh, green grouper. Green grouper? Yeah. Yes, it's very yummy. Uh, Maya Maya. Uh -huh. That's incredible. How much is the lobster? The lobster salmon. It's three thousand. Three three thousand per kilo? Yes, yes. So small though. Yes. This one is an uh this one vicina. Savicina. Sailfish. Yes. Salmon. Salmon? Yeah. Very nice. Salama. Thank you. It's a beautiful store. Lots of shrimp. All fish, big fish, all kinds of fish. Lobster, octopus, mussels, little crabs. Wow. Watermelon.
muscles, bangers. These tanks, live, I don't know what they are, but they're live, whatever they are, but I don't know what they are. If that makes any sense. Looks well, like already cut up, ready beef steak, pork salapico, pork tocino, skewers, honey barbecue sauce. Meatballs, chorizo meatballs, okay. Chorizo cibugro, pork sisig, just as everything. Oh no, you're fine, you're fine. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Oh, you got some ribs. This is a lechon belly. Can we make it like a regular lechon, nice and crispy? If we put it in the oven, will it turn out like a regular lechon? Yeah. How much is it? 800, 900, depends on which one. 750. That's a pork loin. What this? 531. Is this a lechon? Yeah, this one is already Ah, but this one's open. Yeah, let's try a small one. Okay. Okay. Going to your house for dinner. Your dinner looks good. <laughs> Already pre made uh, kebabs, baby pork chops, I guess. I don't know what those are. The John Kawai. I think I could roast that just like a regular pig, and it'll be pulled apart pork. Ground beef. Two fifty nine to eighty. So by one kilogram of beef, stroganoff get pork hock. Save one. I don't know what a pork hock is, but. Brazilian beef. 
has a lot of fat. That's actually kind of like, I like it. Irish beef, Brazilian beef, little baby Brazilian ribeyes, bacon, these are imported meats, I guess. I've lost our lens somewhere again. Whoa! Beef calderetta cut. Beef cubes. Just more meat and more meat and more meat. I mean, the selection here really puts SNR to shame. Chicken legs, 168. And I tell you what, they are getting shopped hard. Pork tenderloins. Atlantic Cod, 359, Pacific Bay. Now, I love cod. I love fried cod. These are in small individuals, 500 grams for Sticky crab. American lobster cooked with something $21.99. Cod. Honey. Crab stick. Lobster. American lobster. You have to be able to fry it. We can try one. Well, though, I don't know. She looks like she might be cooking a good dinner. I don't like Pollock. Uh, we can try Pollock if you like. Yeah, I want the cod. A lot of seafood. Small shrimp. Is that good or bad? I don't know what that is. Oh, cream dory. That I don't like that much. Sensing, bangus, salmon. Milks and juices behind me. Tuna panga, whatever panga means. Steaks imported, salmon.
Oh. Crab balls, fish balls. Lots of ice cream. Hash browns. Onion ringers. I love onion rings. Dummy. Heinz ketchup, 240 for the big bottle. Oh, baby rays, which one? The, st the standard baby rays. Hi, sir. Hello, good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever. Salamat. I think what's important more than anything here is to recognize the advances that you're seeing in the Philippines with regards to food safety and product life. Notice that everything here is refrigerated and or stored cool. That is going to be a big deal with respect to uh, the life or shelf life once you get home with that produce you know when you go to the markets here they're often outside and things are on ice on occasion but they're not always on ice and that creates a problem in the fact that the sun and the heat here in the Philippines just destroys them um, you know, you're going to get a third of the shelf life of your produce here that you would get out of a grocery store environment where things are done like that. So, I have to tell you, there's just so much here, I can't even begin to go and show all of it without producing like an hour's worth of video. I mean, keep in mind, we were there for two hours. That being said... There's so much um, that I think what will happen is, is maybe in another month, once things settle down, we'll go back and take a look at the refrigerated and freezer items, as well as start to locate American branded items. Um, so that's what it is. Hey, look, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And please do hit that thumbs up. That really helps the algorithm for us. And we hope you enjoyed it. And we hope you have a great day. Thanks.